It is time for the anime news for the week ending 26th January 2018, as you can see right down there. Let's get to the news, shall we? Starting with a new anime announcement um, coming later this year, I believe. Um, actually, no, we don't have a, a date yet. Is How Not to Summon a Demon Lord, adaptation of a series of light novels. It's about a young man who spends a lot of time in an MMO and then gets summoned to an actual fantasy world. Um, but he shows up as his character in the MMO and decides to take on that persona. Uh, looks like it's a, f a fairly etchy concept, one of those sorts of ideas. Um, so it's not quite trapped in an MMO, it's more trapped in a, in a fantasy world concept with uh, cute girls. So see where that goes, but uh, that is coming up here presumably pretty soon. Also uh, announced this week, a new anime called Sakai 8 Raid from Bandai Namco. Um, note that, that the, the exact translation of that might change. You see here the, the character designs for the main character. Uh, he's a first year high school student. There's also um, a girl character there as well. Um, they're planning to take applications for uh, voice actors in February, so they're definitely moving pretty quickly on this. Um, it is set in a, a setting where there are multiple parallel universes known to exist, and monsters from, an, from a, another parallel universe cross over into their universe and, um, and, and attack and do terrible things. Um, and apparently the, the main character is one of the few who can actually fight them off. Uh, he's one of those, these, you know, um, there have been multiple people who, in this world, who do fight them off, and then they come across this guy, and he's the special one, right? That, that classic idea. Um, but that is coming, uh, presumably pretty soon, um, because they're definitely moving forward on it. Uh, moving on to some news, um, kind of surprising about, uh, Monster Masume, the UK release of that anime series, um, from MVM. They've announced that the pre-orders for that are, well, their their copies of that are almost completely sold out, and it's still in pre-order. Um, it's not coming out until February 12th, and they've almost sold out all their copies. So, clearly, Monster Masume doing very well. People are really excited about that show. It's, um, about a main character set, uh, set in a world where monster girls kind of exist, you know, centaurs and and uh, mermaids and things like that, and he ends up uh, living with a bunch of them. They're all, it's, it's a harem series, but with girls with, um, you know, monster bodies. So, um, it's a cute kind of etchy harem series, uh, and definitely, you know, clearly uh, quite popular. Uh, speaking of popular anime series, uh, Netflix has announced that the live-action Full Metal Alchemist adaptation, you know, the one with all the European characters where they cast all Asian actors, uh, we'll be coming to Netflix February 19th as a Netflix original. Um, uh, the film was already opened at the Tokyo International Film Festival uh, back in October, and then opened in Japan December 1st. Uh, but it will be available in Netflix in over nine, uh, sorry, 190 countries in the world, including the United States and Europe. So this will definitely be a wide release for the Full Metal Alchemist film. So good on them for that. Um, also um, uh, announced there will be a, a continuation of the Marvel Future Avengers anime series TV show that uh, came out I think last year um, and there are um, the, the the cast will return back Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Hulk, Wasp as well as Makoko, uh, Makoto, Adi, and Kuroe the uh, director is returning uh, Yuzu Sato, Yuzo Sato returning to direct the new season at Madhouse so, um, yeah, it, it, it premiered in July 2017. So, good on them. Uh, this is a, a story about a young boy who gains superpowers due to a gene manipulation experiment gone wrong. Um, and they join the, and the, Makoto and other youths join the Avengers as apprentices named Future Ave Avengers. Which, yeah, that'll happen. So, uh, you know, Japanese teenagers join the Avengers, because why not? Uh, finally, the Lifetime Achievement Award winners uh, from the TAF, the Tokyo Anime Award Festival, have been announced for this year. Um, singer is uh, Kumiko Osugi, who sang on Attack Number no. 1, Eisun no Rai, and Doraemon. Uh, winner of the art director is Shohei Kawamoto, who worked on Doraemon and Heidi. 
Uh, voice actor winner was Kiyoshi Kobayashi, who did uh, Jigen and Lupin the uh, Third. The director uh, uh, winner was uh, Tsutomu Shibuyama, who worked on a lot of Doraemon and Chibi Maruko chan, so kind of a, a deep cut in, in that sense. Uh, also, winner was for director was Gisaburo Tsugi, who worked on Touch, the baseball anime series, uh, Night, on, Night on the Galactic Railroad, and Street Fighter II, the animated movie, as well as many other things. Masami Suda, the animator, who worked on Speed Racer, Pits of the North Star, and other things, uh, was also uh, also won. Producer Yoshio Takami of Galaxy Express 39s uh, and Fits of the North Star also won. Um, and scriptwriter uh, Hiroyuki Yoshiyama of Mobile Suit Gundam and Pat Labor the, and Dirty Pair uh, also won, plus sound directors and so forth and so on. And the founder of Nippon Animation was uh, given an award for uh, as a founder of a production studio. So cool on that. Good to see awards going to clearly deserving individuals. So that is all the anime news fit for this week. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.